Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we will see how we can migrate IMAP email account to Microsoft 365. So let's go to the Microsoft 365 admin portal and get started. So right now we are on our Microsoft 365 admin center and right now there is no domain configured. So let's try to add our domain. So I will click on add domain and I will use the domain as techyjack.com and will click on use this domain. So after this, it will ask you to verify your domain and here in the more option, if you click that more option, you have three option. So we will choose the text record to verify the domain and here it's give us the value for the text record. So in our public DNS, we have to put that and we will create a text record here and I will put the same value that was given by the Microsoft 365 and we will click the save. So now the DNS record has been saved for the text record. So this is the record we have created. So let's try to verify it now. I will click on verify and here it says how do you want to connect your domain. So here it has a more option but uh, right now we are not adding other DNS records. So we will skip and we will do that later. So here it says domain setup is complete. So let me click on done. In the exchange online, we can click on migration and click on add new migration batch. I will name it as IMAP migration and migration to exchange online. So here it says uh, which migration type you want to select. So we will select the IMAP migration and now it says like create the user in Microsoft 365 which you want to migrate. So right now the user is not created. So let's go and try to create the user first. So I will go to the users, active users and right now user is not present here which we want to migrate. So I will create a new user here. We will click on add a user and will type the email address for that user that is info at techyjack.com. So this is the user and I will click on next and I will try to assign a license to the user and will click on next. So it's buying the another license. We'll click on yes and it is good and let's click on next again. So now it's saying like you want to provide it as a administrator access or not. So in my case, I want to provide him a admin access. So I have done that and let's finalize the settings. So the user has been created by the email address that is info at techyjack.com and the license is assigned. So the user is created. So let me click on close. Let me refresh it here. You can see the user is created now and has the license. So let me go back and try to proceed with next. And here it says the select the endpoint. So I have created this endpoint and now it says import CSV. So I have an email address that is inside the CSV and I will upload it. It says one successful user is there. So let's click on next again. And now here you want to like if you want to select the item to skip you can skip it or if you want to include you can include but best option is to leave it blank so now here we will say automatically start the batch and click on save so the batch has been saved let me click on done so this sync was failed so i just created a another endpoint and then i uh, reinitiated the migration batch and if you want to verify it with the exchange online you can see get migration user statistics identity info at techyjack.com. It's saying syncing, but this was failed. So I created the another one by the name of IMAP4. So let me refresh it here. And now you can see it is syncing and it has saying these much of items. If I go to the details here, it says download the report or the data migration is 68.38 MB has been migrated. And if we go to the mailbox of the user, you can see these mailbox from the IMAP. This is the IMAP account and these emails are migrating to the Microsoft 365. You can see the inbox that 488 items and these items like inbox 488 items are migrating to the Microsoft Exchange online. So we are getting the emails here now. So if we again check with this, you can see the name is IMAP4. And if I again check it, it is syncing and 2756 item has been synced already. 
again if we try to refresh it and run the command again here you can see 3987 item is synced so it is syncing properly and we can refresh here you can see all the items has been migrated so once the complete migration is done and the sync is completed you can verify it on your outlook and once it is done then you have to update the dns record for that you have to go to the setup domain and here you can see the domain and in the dns record if we go here and see the manage dns in the more option here we have some other dns requirement add your dns record let me click on continue so now these are the records like mx record cname record and text record you have to update these record to your public dns and once you do that incoming email and the outgoing email will be working from the microsoft 365 so this way you can migrate imap account i hope the video was useful let's meet in a next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.